Hi, it's Teresa at T-Books, and today we're going to talk about how to use sales receipts to record a sale and a payment at the same time. If you need to invoice a customer and they're going to pay you later, then you would use the invoice form for that. But if you have a circumstance where you're selling something, a product or a service, and collecting the payment at the same time, then you're going to use a sales receipt. I'm demonstrating this in QuickBooks Account and Desktop 2016, but the steps for this are the same in all QuickBooks Desktop versions. Okay, let's access our sales receipt. You can do that a number of ways. One way is from this home screen. It's create sales receipts right here in the customer section. Or you can click customer from the top menu bar and enter sales receipts from this from right here. So let's just click it on the home screen and open up our sales receipt. A sales receipt format has similar fields as an invoice. We start at our customer job, so we can just start typing our customer's name. Then if you use classes, go ahead and fill in your class. I like to tab along, so I'm just tabbing between fields. The next place that it takes you after your template is the actual payment methods. This is where you're going to tell QuickBooks how your customer is paying. Cash, check, credit card, e-check are all standard on the form. There's also more which will show any payment methods that you've set, set up to fit your business. In this case we're going to charge, we're going to choose check. So we're going to click on check. Then I'm tabbing to the date field and you can change the date in the sample file it's 2020 so we're going to use 12 15 2020 for the date the sale number will automatically show the next sale number but you can cho choose to change that if you want to and the sold to field can be changed to modify your particular customers address or name or any other things that you need to change for that particular customer here you'll enter the check number and then you'll go ahead and choose which item or service that you're selling this particular person. So we are going to sell, we are providing them blueprints. You can change your description here if you need to be more specific. Specify the quantity here and the price that you're selling those particular, that particular item for sales tax will automatically be calculated just as it would on an invoice form based on the customer tax code that you've specified which also can be changed right down here to either taxable or non-taxable or if you have to change which sales tax that you're using you can also use the pull down menu to do that here as well when you're comp completely finished with all the items and the sales tax adjustments that you might need to make on the form you can hit, click save and new if you have another or save and close if you're finished entering your sales and payments for that day. So we're going to click sales and sale and close. That would be how you use the sales tax receipt form to record both. But let me also show you how to record the deposit once you're finished for the day. You'll follow the line on the home screen to the banking section where it says record deposit and all the sales that you've made for that day through your sales receipt will show on this particular um, window. So you will just check all the payments that will go into that particular deposit and you'll click OK. Choose the bank that you're going to be using for the, for the deposit, the date the deposit was made, and just make sure that the deposit total equals the deposit total that is going into the bank for that day. Hit save and close and you're done. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you again soon.